Hey guys, Psychic Pictures here, and today is January 14th, I believe, 2017. Yep. Um, in this vlog, I want to talk about something that people probably have thought of, but haven't really said. And that's multiplayer let's plays. Now, I had an idea for this for a very long time to do this. Um, I don't know when they will be would be coming out. Like, for example, the Super Smash Brothers Brawl story mode on my Re uh, Let's Play channel. It had a huge bump in the road, which most of it was scheduling and it was that um my schedule and uh the person i was playing with her schedule were very different we were in very different areas so we had to record as much as we could but didn't finish what we started but um i can assure you that with the multiplayer games later, I'm going to be putting them out in such a way that no matter what or no matter what happens, the entire Let's Play will be out when the first video comes up. That's my goal. Um, so actually, I'm going to be revealing some of the uh, multiplayer Let's Plays right now, actually. Uh, for example, the Mario Party series. I've wanted to do a Mario Party Let's Play for a very long time. I had a video of me and three other people playing Mario Party. I believe it was Mario Party 6 in EGAD's Garage. But there was no random point in there. So it's going to be me, two other people, and a random calm. And that random point will randomize the entire game. I've seen the Runaway Guys Let's Play of it. I think it's phenomenal. And with that, it actually gets to the point where you're wondering what the hell the comm is even doing. And that randomity is what I want in Mario Party. Um, the Mario Kart series. I'm going to be going and looking back at Mario Kart, starting with the N64, and working my way back to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on the Switch. Um, I'll be going and doing those, and it's probably going to be me and one other person doing a competition to see how many cups we can win against each other, and then probably going to be doing battle as well, very similar to, um, how Steven Plays handled his Let's Play of Mario Kart. He started with the N64 like I did because I don't have the Super I don't have Super Mario Kart. I would have played it, but I don't have it. Um but it's very gonna be very similar to Stephen Plays' Let's Play of Mario Kart once I do the revamp of it. <clears throat> um Portal 2. I'm going to be going and pretty much going through the game regularly, and then I'll be going and doing the two-player mode as well with Portal 2. Um, it, it'd probably be split into two parts, actually. The regular mode, which is the single-player mode, and then a break before I do the two-player mode. That's probably what's going to happen. Um, Little Big Planet. It's a phenomenal game. 
I've gone and played through it single player, not all the way, but enough to know that I like the game. Um, but I think it's better to have four people playing it, because you won't be able to get all the um, little goodies unless you have four players. So it's going to be me and three other people that are going to be playing Little Big Planet. Uh, I'm not going to reveal one of them because I actually do have that recorded. I do not know when it's coming out, but I have it on reserve just in case. Like, for example, if, um, if one of my Let's Plays falls into a rut that is on this channel, uh, I can go and upload it so you guys can still have content. And same with the Let's Play channel. Um, Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight, I have on the Wii U, and once you tap the, where is it? Yeah. Once you tap the Shovel Knight Amiibo in there, you can play two-player mode, which I think is really cool, It's and it's exclusive for the Wii U, if I remember correctly. So, you, can, you guys can look forward to a Shovel Knight Let's Play in two-player mode. Um, Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort. Wii Sports is a pretty good game to introduce the motion controls. Not the best, but not the worst. I'm looking at Sonic and the Secret Rings for that. But, um, Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort I'll be going and doing in two-player mode. Two or three-player mode or something like that. It's mostly mostly going to be two-player mode, though. But I'd have to look at the game to see if I wanted it to be two-player mode or four-player mode. Hmm. Sorry. And then there's going to be two games that um, I have bonus... E that I'm going to have bonus episodes for that will have a second player with them. And that'll be Sonic the Hedgehog 2006, which that's going to be interesting, I think, because it'll be after my Let's Play of it, but the person playing it will probably not know anything about the game. That's going to be fun. But, um... The other one is Banjo-Tooie. Banjo-Tooie has a immense two-player mode. And it is good. I love it. I've played a lot of it solo mode, but playing it in two-player mode is going to be a lot more fun. Um, I believe that's all, though. There are a handful of ones that I haven't revealed yet, and you guys probably can guess which ones will be in two-player mode as well. But, for now, hmm, for now, I think that's enough two-player content that you guys can look forward to. So, this has been Psychic Pictures, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.